Hey, good morning, guys. Ivan Blasquez here, certified personal trainer, um, ACSM certified exercise physiologist. What I'd like to um, show you today is a, um, a simple um, st uh, fitness test that can be conducted with your clients. Um, this is a step test that I use with my clients. In fact, this is probably one of the more advanced step tests. Uh, this is the Queen's College step test, okay? It's been around for quite a while. Um, let me go ahead and, and demonstrate the setup, okay? Um, so what you have here is you have a standard, you know, step that you see at most gyms for like aerobic classes, okay? The most important thing, guys, is that this is a 16-inch step. So it takes six risers for this particular step, and really most of them probably, to basically equate to about roughly 16 inches. So right here, it's right at 16. So it's like the top of it, so it's, about, it's exactly roughly 16 inches. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Actually, probably not going to be able to, but... So if I stretch the tape out taut, it's about 16 inches. You can see it right here. This is the 15, 16, okay? So... So that's kind of the first thing, uh, is the setup. Now, the ideal condition to conduct this test is, is ideally on... Um, without any kind of stimulants, like coffee or anything like that. Uh, not exercising beforehand, and that's basically it, okay? Um, so what it is, is a three-minute step test, and the metronome, the cadence, you want to have a metronome. So you want to make sure the, and now th th this could be done on anything that's 16 inches. It could be done on a step. Uh, uh, in fact, I think it was based on uh, the height of a bleacher, uh, the, the height of bleachers at a, at a university and it was standardized around 16 inches. That's, that's where I believe they came up with that height. Um, the metronome here is set to 96 for, for men. For women it's set to 88. Okay, so what we do is we step for three minutes and at the end of the three minutes you remain standing and your pulse is taken for 15 seconds. We multiply that by four which gives us the, your one minute recovery heart rate and then we plug that recovery heart rate into the formula and it'll estimate our VO2 max. So we can actually, um, you know, quantify or we can find out what our fitness level is, okay? This is a fantastic test. It's very simple to do. Um, and um, so anyhow, let me just go ahead and demonstrate it for you and then we'll go over the results. All right, you guys, so my recovery heart rate for 15 seconds was 35. And you multiply that by four, it gives you 140. So my VO2 is 52.53, that's the estimate. All right, let's see what that, how that is in the All right, norm. guys, so here we are. This is, here, here are the norms for the Queen's College step test. And I'm at 52.53, so that puts me in the 80th percentile, okay? Um, now, little point of reference here, I've been training um, harder these last couple weeks, even I would say I would say the last month or two. And I think the last time I took this test, I was down in here. I was like 47 point something. I was in the 60th percentile. And that was, a, that was it's kind of a shock to me, but at the same time, um, that's why I like doing this assessment because it really kind of keeps me accountable and it gives me an actual tangible target to uh, strive towards. So um, again, I always say if, if we don't evaluate, we can't rate, and if we don't assess, we guess. So here, this is from McArdle, uh, Dr. McArdle. This is back in, the, you know, so it's basically set on a college-age population, 17 to 25 years of age. 
But um, th this is the chart I use with my clients, and so we'll assess their fitness level. Now, what I'd like to add to that is um, this is not just for um, you know every client who walks through through the door. This is actually for clients who are uh, already have an adequate level of fitness, and actually the first step test now. Preliminary screening, I can kind of gauge if a client is fit or not. It's just you, you kind of go through their health history and so forth, see what their resting heart rate is and their other parameters, um, and, you, and you get a little bit of a case history. But um, some of my clients, well, typically a client who maybe isn't as fit, I'll start them on the YMCA step test, which is a, um, a um, kind of an easier uh, beginner's test, is an easier test. It's the 12-inch step. And um, so this one makes a difference. It's four inches higher. But this is this is my gold standard in terms of um, indirect kind of you know in the field testing. Okay, um, obviously the gold standard typically is the, um, the treadmill test or a, a basically the Bruce protocol or a max test on a treadmill, a stress test. But um, this is kind of an, a um, you know relatively uh, non-invasive and, and simple way to assess fitness. I, I'm a very big fan of it. Um, and uh, you can certainly get really good results and reliability from it if you continually repeat the test on yourself or your clients. So with that being said, uh, thank you for watching and uh, tune in next time.